Hi friends, welcome back to our uh, channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, one more content. Here is the content. Explain electron flow causes electric current with Lorentz group theory. Okay, here is the topic. Uh, suppose if you consider uh, any one of the object conductor, in that so many number of atoms will be. Okay, in that atoms, if you observe carefully, it consists again protons, neutrons, and also electrons. Whereas protons and neutrons, they are inside the nucleus. Whereas electrons, which are revolving around the nucleus. Okay. Free electrons are uh, outermost orbit and the remaining will be innermost uh, orbits. All the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus. Okay. In this, suppose if you consider <coughs> a conductor, okay, in that so many number of uh, atoms will be. In that protons and neutrons exist inside the nucleus, all the protons will be fixed in their uh, particular position. That position we are calling it as at the arrangement of the protons in a conductor is called lattice. Okay. Here if you consider the protons, they are fixed in their particular position. The arrangement of protons in the conductor that we are calling it as lattice. This is called uh, lattice. Who given this information? That information is given by Lorentz Drude in 19th century. Okay. All the protons, they are fixed in their particular position. Where if we count the electrons, they are uh, revolving around the nucleus. Okay. Here, all the electrons, uh, if you count the, if you count the one of the cross section in this, then what happened the electron flow? Okay. What is the net charge flow in this conductor? Okay. Here again, I am considering one conductor. Okay. Then what happened the electrons? They are random in motion. They are not in fixed direction. They are free electrons so that they will move randomly. Okay. And here if you consider one of the cross section. This is one of the cross section we are considering. The number of electrons which are moving from left to right is equals to the number of electrons which are moving from right to left in one second is remains constant. Okay. What happened the direction of the electrons? There are uh, different different directions. There is no particular direction for this. All the electrons which are moving in different different directions. Random in motion. So that what happens to the electrons? which are crossing the cross section from left to right in one second is equals to the number of electrons which are moving from right to left is same in one second or unit in unit time. Okay. Here, what happened the net charge? What happened the net charge in this? Q net is equals to zero. Because the number of electrons which are moving from left to right is equals to right to left. Here, if you consider this conductor is connected to any potential difference through electric bulb. Okay, nothing but uh, here the conductor is connected to cell or a battery through electric bulb. Then what happens if you connect this conductor to any one of the uh, source nothing but cell then uh, there we have a energy which is passing through the electric bulb then the bulb starts glowing okay here I am taking one more time
here is the conductor we are considering this conductor is connected to any one of the source through an electric bulb then what happens here is the source this is the electric bulb here is the conductor we consider okay then here the electrons which are moving in order in opposite direction of electric field or else you can consider from negative terminal to positive terminal here this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal so that all the electrons which are in a particular order they are moving in a direction which is from negative terminal to positive terminal okay here the, all the electrons which are moving in an order this ordered motion of the electrons in a conductor is called uh, electric current this is given by lorentz drew this theory we are calling it as lorentz drew theory okay here what is the definition we are getting the ordered motion of the electrons in a conductor is called electric current this is explained by lorentz drew in 19th century okay thank you